Hi, welcome. This is the Arch Linux uh, 1906 ISO that I've used to build this on uh, SSD on bare metal. The topic of the video is people from Antergos are asking me questions. Hey, Eric, how can we stick to Antergos? Well, the system, but change everything so that the Arch Linux, which is Antergos, is going to be switched to Arch Linux. So how to move from an Antergo system to an Arch Linux slash Arch Linux system? That's the, the question. And I've made already a little forum on that on arclinuxforum.com. There is a particular forum for all the people from Antergos. They can post their questions on there. What's different and all that. I've tried to summarize all the questions that they could pose me, but of course there will be more. And this is a particular question of somebody who says, okay, don't want to reinstall, don't want to have a, a complete clean install from Arch Linux. Is it possible to, and then of course that's a what if, and I like what ifs. So VirtualBox, let's do it in VirtualBox. Let's install Antergos. So, you know, I have a kind of template ready. What's most important for you guys for the settings is to be sure it's VBox VGA. So you have a good uh, um, resolution. Full screen for me, it means 1920 and 1080. 50-50 for the cores and the base memory and for the, the video memory. So that's pretty much the settings. Clone it and let's get ourselves on Tergos. Uh, everything still needs to be done so you can learn how to do all that. So I'm gonna use Ctrl G, one of the keyboard shortcuts to get Antergos download. Download Antergos. Scroll down right here, latest install media. Download ISO or the torrent. Let's see what's the fastest. I have this already. Well, let's open that up anyway. So that thing is working. This is our tool these days, Qubit Torrent, which kind of looks cool together with the theming that we have. That's uh, pretty okay. So, all right, fine. We'll just not download the ISO here. The torrent is going as fast I can that I've paid for. So I can't go any faster than this. This is what I pay for, for the speed, I mean then. So in under one minute, that's like, um, uh, like Arco Linux, under one minute with more or less the same amount of seeds, same speed, that's how fast we get 2.15 gigabytes in. Almost downloaded. And then we're seeding again. Delete, okay, got it, got it. Still open, close it up, down here, exit. All right, so now we have an ISO. Choose disk image is in my downloads. Arco Linux, no, Antergos. Double click, double click. Control F. Start Antergos live. I guess I need to do this. Okay. And we're going to get this particular installer from Antergos. Pretty strange name, can't you hear this? C N C I H H I Olala C N C H I automatic update so we're waiting for that thing to do checking for available updates check was successful latest version okay let's install it english is okay as long as you give me the proper keyboard let's see is that the keyboard select your location uh let's see fine Okay, here's my keyboard. That's the only thing I really need. All the rest, I really don't care. Should be just in English. Okay, and now something I 
a little bit no XFCE. So a lot of things. This could be compared to Arch Linux D, which is means that you get a black screen and then you install scripts, and all the rest are just uh, well desktops that you choose from. So we have all of those, right? Yeah, and more. Awesome uh, BSPWM. Um, Xmonads, not there. Qtile, not there. And all the rest we have as well. I think that's the difference, the tiling window managers. Okay, what's next? It's, this is just a tutorial, so I don't need Chromium. Gonna spare myself a little bit of time for the installation. Select cache, none, or that one. Okay, bye. Uh huh. Recommended. Fine. Erase disk. Install Antergos. Looks okay. Don't want to encrypt. No LVM. That VS. Etc. Mm -hmm. Warning. 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 And we're off. I guess almost. So Eric. Antergos. Eric. 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 Show password. Simple as that, guys. Log in automatically. There you go. Everything set. Oh, what's this location? Australia, like I said, whatever. Just need my layout. That's okay. And let it install. Uh, this button. And then we're up and installing everything. So while he's doing that, let's take a look around. escape let's maybe pause the video so a control f is going to release my full screen so if you forget it's uh, in here somewhere full screen so host means actually the right control on your keyboard so there's a left control a right control the right control on your keyboard will do that and i'm gonna make a little pause here and wait all right, Antergos installer confirmation, everything installed. Do you want to restart? Yes. So, Control F, full screen again. Ooh, the ISO is probably still in it. So, Control F, let's kill this thing, save the machine or power off. Power off. This guy needs to get out of there. Double click it, Control F it, and we are working on Antergos. So we have for 2.4242 system D was a bit quick, but basically we are on Antergos and terminal emulator. We can have a look at sudo pacman minus s y y if that's still working because in, F, in the future these um, well, repositories will not exist anymore. So we need to do something. And he's already having problems, but it's fixed now, it seems. So let's try that one time again. So there is still connection with the Antergos uh, rep repo or repository, and that's fine. Now, the thing is how to move from A till B, from Antergos to Arch Linux, all right. So, what do you have as browser? Browse the web. Let's see, internet. Okay. What browse the web then? No application selected, nothing installed. All right. Control Alt T. Ah, works as well. sudo pacman minus s. Give me Firefox, please. Let's get that installed. And click here and it's gone. I hate the wallpaper. So <laughs> desktop settings. Let's see if we have something background icons. I suppose it will have to do. Solid color, or black or maybe grayish. Select already right, better. Anyway, that's not important. We want to have a terminal emulator um you know i wanted to go to the browser so browser internet firefox 
and you go for open up make it bigger article linux forum and you find the article linux db forum index page and there is something here about oh, for Ontario's users and i've tried to write something down here Welcome to Article Linux. Do start by reading this article to avoid frustration, wasting time, and start having fun. Websites must readers, fine. So you go and read. Frequent asked questions are here. Known issues are here. And the solutions, more important. How to update your system. Lots of articles about updating, but basically it's three commands and a little bit more if you want to. Some fixes if there are things that um, you need to fix or there's something more technical it's going to be in here and if you want to help you need to give us information so you need to help yourself help us help you if you don't give information if you say i have a black screen help me that's not enough you need to provide us with more info here you can connect to discord so it's a kind of irc so a way to communicate with each other it doesn't matter what tool we use we just want to communicate and that's discord for us it's a great beautiful tool to um, have a visual uh, share images or videos and all that and talk about improvements development bugs uh, questions anything can go on there but it, when it becomes more technical we prefer you go to the forum because then it will help others as well discord like on facebook and other social media it will just move along scroll away and nobody's help with it but when you post something on articlenextforum.com well you'll google for it or you search on that forum for it and you'll find the solution that somebody else found and you have your your help with it as well so discord and then the invite is here and then there are some questions uh, about updating and all that so we have a lot of packages they all start with Arch Linux you can type in the terminal this thing but of course I can't type it at this point in time so there's nothing there at this point in time and the question is how to to move from from A to B so um, where should I start I'm thinking about what to do next I'm probably gonna edit this thing later on and follow the logic that I'm following at this point in time to get from Antergos to Arch Linux. Basically guys, I must say, uh, most important thing is do a clean install. If you wanna learn, then this is a nice project. This is a what if project, but it's not necessary whatsoever. You can put everything in, your, in the cloud or your external hard drive and then uh, put everything back on Arch Linux afterwards. So a clean install is always the best thing. This is just me having fun and explaining how to get from Antergos to Arch Linux if you want to do it the hard way, the learning way. Okay, so that being said, we have all applications. They have PAMAC AOR as well. So this thing is the same look, although we just like other icons and, and themes. Uh, but the repositories that we have are then here. These guys are our repos and here is the Antergos repo. So just one and a lot of things in there. So this will disappear. At some point in time, this thing will go away. All right. Um, when you install Arch Linux, Arch Linux, Antergos, Arch Labs, uh, Manjaro, all Arch stuff is coming from a particular file. So in your file system, etc, you'll have a pacman.conf. This is the guy. So double click it. It's now opened with mouse pad, which I don't really like. So I'm gonna do some more stuff. Yay, probably not, it does not exist. So I'll need yay later on. Um, so escape. What I need to do is edit this file. In here, it says somewhere, um, multi include, multi lib include, include, community testing, extra. Here it says Antergos. This is the line when do, we do Control Alt T and when we say update, which does not exist. So people from Arch Linux say, yeah, you just type update. No, well, that's an alias. So sudo pacman minus SYY is enough. And then you update your uh, repositories. 
the libraries of your repositories. Okay, so Antergos is the first line you come across, and that's because it says here Antergos. So this needs to go, that's for, for sure. The question is how will we edit it? Because I think control save, permission denied. So I can't save anything in mousepad. So that's why I wanted to yay and then sublime text or something like that. But we can of course also go here, open terminal here and say sudo. So becoming administrator and nano is probably installed. And then we go to pacman.conf. So we stay in the terminal. We could launch a GUI as well. But let's do it this way. Can't make it bigger. Okay, I can. So scrolling down and scrolling back up, I need to find my Antergos. This needs to go. All right. At some point in time, this will no longer exist. Then a control X save modified buffer. I say yes. File name to write to. I say yes. And that's written. Let's check. There is shouldn't be any. Oops. There shouldn't be any. Uh, control C. There shouldn't be any. Um, Antergos anywhere going up there is still staging I see so we can get rid of that as well so that's a sort of testing repo probably not sure I'm not an Antergos specialist okay blah 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 that can go as well not necessary but while I'm cleaning up I can clean it up right And this is still what we here see is still from Arch Linux. So this is phase five Arch Linux installing Arch Linux. Well, then you have these lines. These are the same, exact the same lines. So whatever, that's good. Control X. Yes, I want to save to that thing. When I now say update, does not exist, Eric. When I do alias update equals and then uh, sudo pacman minus syy. And normally we say u because that's what we do. And I type now update, then I can update. The alias will work. And there's an update to do. Okay, fine. So um, we have now no longer, if you've noticed, no longer the line here, Arco Linux in here. Uh, sorry, uh, Antergos in there. But we do need to add more from Arco Linux. Okay, that's that. Let's keep that one here. Let's go to the internet. Control A. We have a GitHub. GitHub Arco Linux T. Since we promote you to learn lots about Arch Linux slash Arco Linux, at some point in time you say, I wanna venture my way into phase five, our learning curve. And phase five means I'm going to use the ISO from archlinux.org and install me everything from scrap, from bit to bit, from byte, bit to byte, let's say. So we need to help you as well that uh, you install when you go to phase five that you get our Arco Linux elements in here. So this folder is necessary for people who went to phase five who are no longer user using the ISO of Arco Linux but the ISO of Arch Linux, and they need these guys, these things to do it. So the only thing you have to do is choose one of them. All of them have it. It's uh, 13 desktops that we have now. So I choose one of them, the first one, fine. And then download zip, save, do it automatically. Okay, up, up, done. Right mouse click, extract here. So this thing is the archway. We need, let's have a look, open with mouse pad. So this is not essential for many of us, but it's essential for me. I can't import key servers without this script. So this is something I need to do. So I suggest you leave this one alone until it doesn't work and then you use it. So trust the key version four. That's something we need to do. Let's see if I need to run number 10. Well, I can't do this without getting this error. So 
personally, I need to run the key server. So I'm adding some key servers uh, to the system so that I can actually run number 20 like this. So he's figuring out Pierre Schmitz, what key he has, etc. And Florian Pritz, etc. etc. All these people who are contributing to the Arch Linux, um, well, repo, let's say, are being added to the system and the key has been trusted. So for you, maybe you need to run only 20. I need to run first 10, then 20. And now, since we don't want to type all the time again and again and again, what do we do? Go, go ahead. What do we do? We are going to add some stuff to our pacman.conf. Here it says append to etc pacman.conf. All of these guys, all the Arco Linux repos are going to be added to the system. And um, this one as well, I see. So a Arco Linux mirror list has been added, but we have a package for that. So we can solve that as well with a package. And here is the mirror list itself that comes down. Okay. So like it says, or you co start copy pasting in pacman.conf or we just run a script. So nice and easy. Okay, we're a bit lazy, that's why. So there you go. So we have now lots of repos, repo and a signature. So to check if it's correct, if it's uh, the same, uh, coming from the same source, from Arch Linux source, right? So these are some um, not important wallpapers that we had when we were one year, two years old. Uh, we gave that as a present. So lots of wallpapers. But the third party is interesting, the repo is interesting, and all the rest is Arch. This is Arch, this is Arch Linux. Okay, so at this point in time, I could navigate back to that page. And then at this point in time, we do see the Arch Linux packages. We do get this thing. So repositories, we do get it because, well, I've just added them. So we can see, check, download, install, uninstall stuff from Arch Linux, right? So third party stuff. And these are all the wallpapers. So you see the names. Okay. All right. Um, one of the things, for instance, that's in here is yay. I wanted to install uh, yay, but there is no AUR helper, I believe. I'm not sure, guys. Maybe mistaking, right? But um, I don't think there is. So sudo pacman minus s yay will work at this point in time. Why? The repo has been added. Whoops, that's not the right thing here. The repo has been, did I close it? The repo has been added, made, so he will find third party. He will find yay, dash bin. All right, so I can install it. Why, I wanted, why did I want to install that thing? Because of the fact that I wanted to yay sublime text. That's what I wanted to install for software to edit stuff. And we have it actually on sublime repo third party. So I'm gonna get it from our own repo. We find it that important that we should be able to get it as quickly as possible rather than building it all the time. So we have our sublime text. So basically, why do I need it? right mouse click, not maybe this one, but that one. And I can open it with sublime text and I can show you guys. And this is my preferred editor. Oh my God, like this. C Control scroll, I can make it bigger and I can show you guys, this is what happened. This is what we added to the list. And if at some point in time you become a beta tester, you say, oh, there is something in the repo for testing. So before we launch or release something, we put it first in repo testing. On Discord, we say to the beta testers, hey guys, there's a new package in there. Could you test it, please? I want to release it to the general mainstream uh, release. And if, if it's a go everywhere, that's okay, fine. Up, delete it from the repo testing, put it in repo or repo third party, and we're off. It's out there. So the pacman.conf is really the most important thing 
out there to to have um, what changed in your system as well let's have a look it's still talking about pacman always pacman.t we've added something an Arco Linux middle list so we are have two ways to to get our stuff in and that's enough there's uh, one is the backup of the other this one is paid for so we are paying for seat host and this one is free from github so he's providing us with super speeds and as a backup we still have this one so getting everything in is is super nice now something else that uh, is probably gonna differ is the fact that we have aliases right so what did I do? I've done this script already with a scripting, change the pacman.conf, and that's here. Uh, so change to the pacman minus s y. We've done that. The alias. That's something that's not there already. We can actually install it with a package since we have a well. Here it is. Arco Linux. Lots of packages. Of course, coming from Antergros, you say what is that? Normally you can figure it out with the names, but not always. Okay, so if you say I want to click on this, this has a little green arrow now. Doesn't have it, has it? Okay, one pending operation. I apply or I say sudo pacman minus s arco linux root git, and then we have something. And that's something specific, maybe I don't know, to um there we go. Specific to Arch Linux, we put stuff in our ETC scale. And there is already stuff in our ETC scale. So now I need to figure out what is what kind of package does Antergos has actually. So Antergos alerts, desktop settings, mirror list. We don't need this one anymore. So mirror list is gone. Apply. Now I need to root Arco Linux root needs to go it's still there Arco Linux root now it's getting more tricky because I'm coming in domains I don't know I don't know Antergos so there is an Antergos I found something that I said okay this is it yeah that's the one Antergos middle list don't need it wallpapers don't need it either um, there goes midnight timers. Don't know. Since there won't be any any um, packages for uh, Tergos, we don't need the keyring either. And let's apply this this first. This will probably just work. Now let's take a look what's in here. Here are the etc scale stuff. You see. So, in order to for me to become an actual Arco Linux. I need to get rid of everything that's inside etc scale because there will be doubles. This uh, is also included in Arco Linux package. And there's just one thing that Pacman does not like. You can't provide the same folder file, like actually file, I think, not folders okay, but the same file with different uh, packages is not possible, okay? So we have all kinds of XFC settings. So these guys need to go because we want to write to ETC scale the same files that are in here. Okay. So remove this, apply, commit, done. Don't know what this is. Files, Antergos alerts, Antergos notify. I'm guessing there won't be any alerts. So remove. LPM hooks. Okay, not necessary either. The boot, the grub things that can go as well. And then frost theme, so an icon theme or a, a, a theme can always stay that's no problem that's always good and what's this I'm not sure so I'm gonna keep it okay 
this means I'm free now. The ETC scale, let's take a look. The ETC scale should be more or less empty because it's important that we check it. Aha, just one. This, I don't know where that comes from, from some kind of package. So it's a leftover. I'm not sure where it comes from, but I'm gonna pseudo remove it and then I'm done. rid of it because we have that file too. Can't have it two times. Oops, minus RF, just recursive force done. And it's gone. ETC scale control H is almost empty. So a lot of stuff is still there. So with a control H, you see the hidden files. So LL is not working. No, <laughs> minus AL is working. So remove me everything else. So do remove me um, everything in this thing. Oops, with a point. There you go. So now it's really, really empty. Because it needs to be empty, I want to install stuff from Arch Linux. Repositories, Arch Linux repo, and then you start analyzing, you start figuring out how it works. Or you put an Arch Linux ISO in a virtual machine and you start figuring it out in VirtualBox. And then say, okay, so I need this, I need that, I need that. The thing is, you only know when you, what you need if you actually install it. You can't double click it and say, what are the files? You don't see what's coming yet. Don't know the contents yet. So um, let me see. Arch Linux applications for XFCE. Yes, we're in XFCE. Arc themes would be nice, but that's the old themes. These are the new themes on so Nico. Awesome. Well, it's another uh, system altogether, not a desktop. So no. Bin are fun stuff. PSP, common, Git. And then I think it's. Uh, not necessary here. We're working on XFC, right? So that's the uh, pres presumption, I say it, uh, assumption that we have that one. Arcolix config kit is good. We like a conky, like anybody else. Some fonts. Faces are for XFCE, some genie settings, group theme, Vimix. I3WM, no, Arch Linux Keyring is already installed. Should have been, but it's, uh, we've done it another way, but it's there. Uh, that might be an issue. Let's uh, do it like this then. Quantum, LightGM, GTK, Greeter, let's keep everything as is. A logo, uh, mirror list is there already. NeoFetch, we like our NeoFetch. Some nitrogen settings, or below out in XFC, not necessary. Pipe menus is necessary for conkeys. Plank, if you like it. Plank themes, if you want it. Qt5 kits, that's the Qt5 CT that we needed to delete, right? So it's in this thing. Qtile, not necessary. We root, we need root. This or bash RC and our X resources. We need those. System config, let's keep that one out. That should be in actually. Let's do it. It's also for me trial and error, and I've done this before. Variety, what if, right? Wallpapers, panel, the XFC tuner gets, and that's it. Apply. Let's see. Crop customizer, yes, please. Choose, yes, please. Choose. Not found, close. <laughs> so, Ctrl T. Yay, mugshot. We are filming, my dear son. If you could be quiet, it would be nice. Install. So, mugshot is there. He can't complain about that anymore. Yay. Um, maybe we have a pseudo Pacman minus S grub customizer. Yep, it is. So no need to go from AUR. It's come from Arch Linux itself. So done that. <laughs> Apply please. Commit. So we're downloading everything here. 
details. And then we have some issues. So I thought as much. So the Arclonic system config has the same file. So they have the same file as us, the same name. So hence everything stops, right? So it was system config something needs to go. System config, so this guy, oh no, all my selections are gone. So this one is the one that I need to, well, go and look in detail. But um, unfortunately, I need to select everything again. But let's give an example like this. Everything is installed. So we have here some wallpapers maybe as well. Click, just quickly change everything. And then Control T. Let's do the pseudo Pacman minus S. Let's start the icons, let's get those. Let's get a visual looking Arc Linux first and I'll select it again later. All right. So coming back to that, I installed some stuff. How do we get to our preferred appearance? That's it, appearance. So scrolling up, we have our Arc stuff. Arc, our Casablanca, Dark, Icons, Sardi, uh, Arc maybe, Sardi Arc, Close. Now one of the things that is important to get a really good feel that it's, it's actually us and not Antergos, that's getting the Arclonix XFCE stuff in. So these guys, these two guys, okay. Now the thing is, when you put something in your scale, um, that's a problem in the sense that we need to, the root is not there, let's take the root first. Commit. So root is installed. Fine. Going it by piece by piece this time. So the etc scale. It's important. You've seen it. It's the same with Antergos, it seems. And etc scale contains stuff. Okay. So put it here. We have installed elements that are from that are in here, but are not already in our system. So Control C, Eric, Control V. Is going to override everything that I have. So replace all. Don't care. Replace all. We have the bash RC that's in here, and in here it's still not my bash RC, right? This is bash RC aliases, not from us. And this is bash RC latest. This is from us. So control A, control C, bash RC from Antergos, control A, delete, control V, save. We have now a bash RC from uh, us. So the update will work. When I say XFC termite is not installed yet, suppose not, control alt sudo, sudo pacman minus s termite. This is our terminal that we use. So when I press control alt t would be nice to have a terminal from termite and not this, this drop down. Control T, what is this thing? It's called XFCE, XFCE terminal, but then at the top, like uh, the other terminal who used to do that. Don't recall its name at this particular point in time. So I need to load this thing up. So I'm gonna use termite. Okay, so this is the look in termite. New fetch is not installed, let's fix that. So you go Pacman minus S Neo fetch. Installed. Neo fetch. There you have Antergos. Nice. We should fix that as well. <laughs> right, so the Bash RC. Okay, sorry. Bash RC resource source source is that the name? Source Bash RC, I think it is. So I'm gonna ask it again and let's see if update works, but update was already created, PKSYUA, if that works and that works. So I'm updating now. 
something from AUR. So Xcursor Breeze was not up to date and the update is coming from AUR. Now, why is that happening? Because PKSYUA means something. It means control find PKSY. It means use yay and update everything and including the AUR. So if you first done the update, so this guy, and then later that guy, then you'll get um, everything to be updated. This is the Arch Linux and Arc Linux. This is then the rest, which is AOR. It's always a good thing to come to make a separation between these two uh, elements on your system. All right. That's the one. Okay, that's done. So my PKS YUA works. Does my mirror work? Yes, mirror works. Why? I've installed the reflector. Okay, we have now a new system. I can update and you don't see it, but now the servers are different. These guys are coming from, not these guys, only these four lines, the first four lines have been changed. It's an Arch Linux distro. So you go to the mirror list. I've just changed this with our mirror list command, reflector, blah, blah, blah. So this mirror, mirror S, mirror A, mirror D. So yes, you'll probably need to catch up on all the, the possible aliases that we have. Uh, where is it? Nope. A nice little color. So let's take a look at this one. So this is what we all have in aliases. And one of the commands that is quite interesting, if you're this far away, then you can say scale. If you do an installation, and it's writing something to your etc scale, you type the command scale, and it copy pastes etc scale stuff over to your home directory. So you have your update. An example, um, like Genie, there is one of, um, well, let's take NeoFetch, so NeoFetch gets nicer. Arco Linux NeoFetch Git. So we have all kinds of settings in uh, our etc scale. It's now there. Don't believe me? Try it out, see and learn. So let's put that one away. We don't need that one. So etc scale, config, neofetch is here. These, all these guys are in here, but they are not in here. Here there's no neofetch. Okay, so right mouse click, open terminal, scale. And then you see if that's gonna work. Where's neofetch? Here it is. Neofetch, Control T, Neofetch. It's gonna be a little bit different. The selections we've made in here, which will, will change things. And of course, well, we still have the logo, I guess because that's the system here, etc. LSB release, LSB release. Where are you? No LSB release, then it's OS release, is it? LSB release is not present. So in our case, we go to LSB release. In this case, it's this one. So you need to change these guys. So it, it gets, it knows what it is. So Arco Linux, I uh, like Arch, a pretty name. I don't know what I typed in here. So I'm just gonna type Arc Linux everywhere. That's not that important now. So these things can go. That one can go. I don't know, that one. Antergos Linux. Let's call it Antergos Argo Linux. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. We're just having fun and learn. Okay. Does that happen anything? Does it change anything? If you new fetch, it does it doesn't seem to have any effect at this point in time yet, since it still shows us the Antergo. So maybe it gets the information from another file. Or did we not save it? Yes, we saved it. Arc Linux. Let's try this thing. I don't think it's the case. So you must find it somewhere else. Now, that's what I try to tell people. That's super unimportant, this uh, new fetch. Oh, there it is. So this NeoFetch um, thing, if we have it 
if you call it 19.4 or 90.5 or 90.6 it's just a date and time you know april may june but the only thing you need to do is update that's it uh, whether you change the file lsb release in our case not os release uh, it doesn't really matter it's just a file with a text that's unimportant so my message is clear so if you have stuff if you have stuff uh, available in here and it's going to be added to your etc scale remember to copy paste it over with the command scale what's still important so the arc themes we're looking at a beautiful arc theme now there's the Arclinx bin already there. That's also interesting to see. There's a bin folder with lots of uh, commands. There's fun stuff like uh, Pac-Man. That's just fun stuff, which is okay. But it's, it's of course not essential at all. I know. Okay. Close. We can drag it a little bit longer. So it's a bit nicer terminal still looks different in coloring than ours but you can keep those settings unimportant colors um what else so yeah we're talking about this we have this stay rolling folder so if you decide to say okay i'm gonna install at linux and if you want to follow what we do to the iso and never clean install and keep rolling then this is your thing Go in here, stay rolling, just double click or not double click, it doesn't work here on XFC. But launch this thing, run this thing, and you'll delete stuff that we have deleted on the ISO or add stuff that we have added on the ISO. So the difference between ISO 1 and 2, that's this thing. So run these guys to have exactly the same packages that we have on an ISO after clean install. So this is for stay rolling guys never reinstall again we have air here the use all course which is indeed important so i can have a faster way of building everything from the aor so i was using only one core and now four so four times as fast let's say not particularly exact exact four but more or less four some if you like it network if you need it a fix for intel microcode and amd Fun stuff, so applications like C Matrix, like uh, this locomotion and the ASCII Aquarian, you'll check it out. We have an article online, just Google Arch Linux fun script or something, and it pops up. You check out the article, you scroll through it. Kava is here, uh, C Matrix, the pipes is here, MD is here, just lots of stuff. Okay. So that's the fun stuff that's also there. All right, so some more. So we were selecting stuff. Config cinnamon deeping, this config is interesting. Uh, Gnome, nope. Conkeys, we wanted to have conkeys. And faces is for XFCE. And uh, fonts, yep, genie, sure. Grub, yes, keyring is there already, but we're, I'm gonna do this later. If I remember, quantum, local, not sure I need it, logos if you want it, nitrogen, sure, mobility out. We're assuming we're on XFC, so I don't install stuff from BSPWM, XPM. X um, monad, I mean OB logout from Openbox, not installing those. This is you need it for the conkey. Okay, blank, blank. Let's try this. If there's one glitch in there, it won't be installed. So let's do this already and then let's keep going. Qt5, so that's a good one. Qtile, not really. A separate desktop altogether. So this one we need to figure out. Termite themes. Oh yeah, we don't have themes. That's why termite looks that way. Variety. We use a um, helper for our wallpapers, which would be an awesome idea to do right now. So 
pseudo-pacman minus s. Ah, he still shows uh, the logo here. That's strange. So variety is loaded up. That's it. Variety is there. And you'll get the configuration files with this one. If you scale afterwards, apply, commit, done. So things will be looking more and more different all the time. First off, variety. That's that. Continue. Close, Control Alt T. Don't forget to scale. Scale command is not found. So I'm gonna get Control Alt T is not good. I'm gonna go for termite like this and scale now. He understands me. Termite and um, that's the terminal here. And now I can have a look at our next wallpaper. Finally, have something new, something better. Don't really like the icons up here. Don't like the icon down here. So applications. This takes a long time to open up from time to time. So user share, which is okay. You navigate to icons. No, I can't press it. Icons, Saturday. Scalable places. Let's have a look. Start here. All the start here stuff is interesting. So we can have something special if you like, or just a white one or a red one. Why not a red one? Always use white. So now we have a red icon and um, properties. I like it with a title, I can end title, and let's make an Arch Linux farm like that. All right, so we have Arch Linux now. Starting to look okay. We have um, some settings that are different. Why? Because XFC, we need to log out and log in because all the settings that we have copy pasted over to this thing, this XFCE thing, this is ours but it needs to be reloaded so i need to log out and log in to uh, change that but uh, you know you'll see it later on so these things are at the right and these guys are to the left i think which is pretty much you can do it here oh, where can we do it don't like the small thing that was normal i think and then switch categories by hovering Position search engine next to panel. Let's see if was this. Let's see. Yeah, that's all better. That's better. But, 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 but. Too big. Small. Yeah, this is more or less what it looks like on uh, our system, Arcolinux. All right might be still be there may still be some differences but here you can say set also all the colors select from stock and that's because we have installed elements we install installed packages mugshot you remember i installed it all right starting to look okay still don't own, don't like my desktop in my desktop there are icons and i don't like these icons on my desktop so they are gone I need to scroll for the rubbish bin. Close. So that's gone. Then my, I'm wondering if I can reload XF desktop or something. Let's try out sudo pacman. No, that's not a good idea, Eric. Sudo XF desktop might break my, my recording. I hope I, I am still recording. Good question. Where is my sublime text? Oh yeah, that's of course. Um, I was thinking where's my uh, simple screen recorder, but that's still recording. Let's have a check. So this is still working fine. Control F, um, Alt N. So the keyboard shortcuts are not working. I need to really log out, log in again to have something uh, better. What else can we do? 
Let me think. What did I say here? So reflector has been done, our Linux keyring. I would like to try and see what happens if I do this. Control C, Control T, and then Control Shift V. All right, fine, no issue whatsoever. Good. Let's take a look. Repositories, Arch Linux repo. What else? So. configuration files are in to load some of them and actually really need to log out and log in there's also genie files if you haven't installed it well there's no um, you don't you don't use it but genie is black on Arch Linux and not white we don't really like the white look for coding too bright if you want to have to watch hours and hours then you need to do something about it. So Arch Linux grub theme, we can do that one as well later on maybe. That's not essential really. A, a theme for grub or not is unimportant. Nobody sees it but you when you boot up. The conkey, the conkey and the plank. Yeah, that's what I want to do too, the plank. So there is no plank. Terminal emulator, sudo pacman. Uh, minus s blank I suppose it's not installed yet nope now it is so blank there you are right mouse click so I'm pressing the control on my left keyboard and the right mouse click preferences going to the top default and these are all coming from us these are all our themes a lot of themes let's take something whitish I don't know doesn't really matter I'm wasting my time but well needs to look nice as well so a lot of things you can check out let's take out one of these Mac things like this maybe all right so plank is there fine plank is there and then the pipe menu so conky Zen is is that there is the conky Zen there yes conky Zen is it working probably not why because control T pseudo pacman minus s you don't have yet target not found so yeah yet and that's number two enter enter let's try that again maybe we don't have conky how about that eric maybe you should install the application conky that's installed Let's have a look. Conky, conk, not installed. So yay, Conky Lua Archers. That's the one we use. That's number one. There's a good version as well, I see. But let's take just this one. This will take my my take will take a bit of building. So great that I launched this. Uh, use all your core stuff. Uh, zero zero zero. That's the script we call. Um, easy actually to access if you know where to find it so you go to termite terminal uh, termite termite okay right mouse click add to favorites and then it's in here termite there you go this one can go remove from, from and this is termite um, okay well, that's it so the zero 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 I move to it or I type this bin slash and then you have or actually inside it already main and then zero zero and you run it there is the script okay so we can maybe run something else from here it's called puke that's not the one because I need to go one level up I was in the directory and there you go, we have the skull puke. So that works also very easy. Let's see. Done, done. Conky, is it present? Yes, there is a conky present, and there is your conky. Okay, control C. KC works for us. If it's loaded, and it's loaded, it seems thus, it's not loaded in here. Can we actually quit it? Control T. 
Ah, there we have it. We had to close this XFC stuff. Now he knows my keys KC and KC is kill all conkeys. Alias, kill all conkeys. K, 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 C, kill conkey. That's it. Easy to remember. KC, maybe you have a friend called like that. Kill conkey. Um, yeah, the conkeys then. Right mouse click, add to favorites. Here it is. Let's wait, and there we have it. So that can go. Let's use one of them. Informant. There you go. You'll have to check out why this is not transparent, but it's just a question of uh, figuring out the code. Some of them have um, transparency, others don't. But it's always dependent if maybe Antergos did not set the window. Ah, we even have this, this line under here. So all these things have not been set and in Article Linux it was already done by default since I don't want to, to go over it again and again and again. The show shadows under regular windows. Is that it? No, this one. Show shadows under dock windows. Is this line? That's the line you see here, up here. Okay. That's gone. That's already something. And then enable display compositing some transparency we use some transparency up here in that thing opacity of inactive we don't do that don't think so opacity of windows during move that's an interesting funny funny one so while you move you move it's a little bit transparent during resize don't think we do that but i can be mistaken so some stuff at the center of the screen okay fine uh-huh workspaces i think the rest is more or less the same all settings window managers do we change here something i don't really know it by heart but there you go we have already um, solved this line which i did not see actually alt n can we have, we don't have the keyboard shortcuts yet, so I want to have just a different kind of wallpaper. So these are the Article Linux wallpapers coming in. It's going to be more and more like um, Article Linux. Let's go technical because this is just design, conkeys and all that. Um, Qt5, Polybar, no, Qtile, Rufi, Rufi. Linux, slim slim lock system config so this guy will not work apply commit and you there's also always a reason for it okay so this thing exists already so remember etc x11 xorg.conf d fine and there we go file system etc x11 xorg.conf d this guy is here already I'm gonna come up with my own version of it. So why not learn from it and move this thing, pseudo move this thing. So moving is actually kind of renaming. Kill xconf, um, antergos, huh? like this. So when I change this thing, if I can't, oh yeah, okay, sorry. To 99 and then Antergos. So from 2, that's what I forgot to change this thing into that thing, and we have renamed it. So that's how we rename stuff. And now I can say go and install this thing, and there is nothing well in my way. Basically, these two guys are not the same. Do we have melt? Do we have melt? sudo pacman minus s melt. Why do I install melt? For ease of work. Workflow. We can go if we have reloaded. Yeah, we should reload. No, 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 shouldn't. So it's also in here. We can have a comparison between these two files. And that's of course super interesting. And we actually are sending exactly the same file to you guys. So fine, but that's okay. So now we know. 
So melt is an easy way to compare stuff. Let's take another conkey. Let's see if another one is transparent or not. You can click on the conkey name so it becomes alphabetically, which I prefer to do. So I can go to the conkey AOR Nemesis alphabetically. So it is transparent in this case. So it all depends about, ooh, about fonts as well. This is not how it should look. This is too big. Um, but we did install fonts, but I guess we need to reboot for fonts maybe as well. Or maybe the font is not yet installed and it was installed on my ISO. That's possible too. So here it is, Linux fonts. What does it bring? It brings files. These files are in here. Yes, and what's not in here probably is a Noto font. Let's take a look. Pseudo pacman minus s. Now I really don't know what it is. I suppose it's called, gonna be this one. Let's see. I believe so. Let's see. Killing my conkey, KC. Activating my conkey. Uh, nemesis, there you are. I don't know, it's different, I don't think it's different. But not always something we need anyway for other elements on Arc Linux. So it might be Ubuntu, who knows? Maybe the Ubuntu font. Now I can keep on guessing, which is okay, but if you don't wanna guess, you go and have a look at the config, the conkey, a war conkey, it's nemesis. Open it up, look for the font. What font am I using actually? Uh, Okay, it's the Source Sans Pro thing I'm using. So, Ctrl T, um, sudo, well, I don't know really what the name is. So that's why the package manager PacMac AOR is so good. If you don't know the name, well, you have to, to look for it, right? Source Sans, how about Source? Adobe Source, yeah, it's one of those. I think it's this one actually. Source Code Pro, and what do I have? Source Sans. So that's not the one. Source Sans. And that's that one. Adobe Source Sans Pro fonts? Probably, not sure. So that's what we, well, decided months ago, years ago, to go for these fonts and these fonts so I have to figure it out just on the fly here um, if that's the thing or not it's just all in our package list really don't like the wallpaper next Whew, better it's saved so conky zen reload me my thing that's better that's a nicer font so it was that last one that last font that I needed so my shortcuts is, are not working yet. I need to reboot, but you see that it's gonna work. I seem to have lost my transparency at the same point here. But um, might be necessary, necessary for me to do a nice reboot. All right, so. I think we have covered pretty much all of it. So there is also repo third party. Maybe we should take a look at that as well. So we have Discord. We can install Discord, Dropbox into it, um, Inksy. LastPass is something to keep your passwords online and to be safe. Um, you check it out if that's something for you. There's a new mix circle icon theme. We don't need Polybar, Slurm, Spotify I like, Surfer I like and well, you fetch is just a small thing to ask in your terminal. Choose optional dependencies for Discord. Why not? Doesn't cost us anything. Linux is free for Dropbox. Sure, why not? I don't really install all of these guys in my Arc Linux, I think. But hey, we're just having fun. No, don't think so. Uh-huh. Close. Target not found. 
Okay, one by one then. So we can see what it is. Let's see. Oops, that's still not one by one. Let's go for Discord. Not the easiest one first. This one, that one, that one. Shouldn't be easy. Shouldn't be difficult. I mean, choose, 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 commit. And that's installed as well. So Inksy is quite interesting actually. It's an application that shows your hardware and your specs of your system, which is sometimes necessary if you want our help on the form. Uh, is he doing something? He's downloading. Okay. No, you're not. Cancel. This is now locked. Okay. Try it again. I can't. It's now blocked. It's locked and the blocked. You see in the icon here that it has a lock here. Details. Transaction cancelled. Fine. But why don't I see an unlock? Okay. Seems normal. Waiting for another package manager to quit. Typically a question that we sometimes have. And what do you get it? When do you get it? Or how do you see it? Because this is all in GUI. You see it probably in this thing. If you say I'm going to update my system, then you get this. Fail to update. It's locked, unable to lock, unable to lock. There is an alias to unlock if you know what's going on. And you know that you need to unlock this thing. So this database lock needs to go. So we have a command for it. Unlock please. That's done. And now we can go back for, I'm oh, sorry, go back for an update for instance. And now it is, is back unlocked. Let's go for the terminal this time, sudo pacman minus s inksy. That's installed, as easy as that. And that's inksy for you. Okay. So if you, if you keep going back here, repositories, Linux third party. So let's put you guys here and put you here and do a sudo pacman minus s Spotify would be nice. Great to have Discord to chat with our Linux guys and the data testers and all the users. It's installed in a Jiffy. You find out the invitation for Discord and you come and join us. All right, so Discord is there. Last pause if you want it. We have these colors up here. So sudo pacman minus s dropbox so you don't need to build those we don't put everything in the third party but the things that are important for us are in there so you don't need to do pa dropbox look for the number which is number six and build it yourself it's already pre-built new mix circle icons yes icons who cares it's just fun but it just doesn't does not make any problems but we need required we need the new mix circle icon theme kit so we've done that with it's already on the iso so new mix circle icon kit needs to be installed as well if you want those icons and for the rest spot surfing so another icon theme commits go install and you fetch let's install you fetch as well apply so we can quickly show you what you fetch is you fetch your two things you fetch arco is going to look like this and our neo fetch is going to look like this and that's the way we well we like to have two ways to show you what system we're on slurm you check out what it is polybar not needed here last pass i use it all the time it's up to you to use it boxes is just something from fun which was not up to date so i update updated myself this is HBlock. HBlock is interesting. It has an article, articlelinks.com, about um, how to have a different internet experience, basically. So the trackers you don't want, all the, the rubbish websites we tend to, to get to and get into trouble. Well, this HBlock is really the thing. 
to have around. Now there is this H block minus B, which is interesting, which is going to make a backup. And it's basically gonna change, um, well, let's have a look here. It's going to change a file. I believe it's the hosts file. It's gonna change. So this is this one, let's see. Still working, is he? He's still working. So he's getting all the information from the internet, which things should I block? Which elements, which uh, web servers, which uh, URLs should I get rid of? And at some point in time, everything is done. He is going to update this little file and basically is going to say, if you're gonna see gaysex 3 fur here, then he's gonna say that's your IP address, which is basically saying, don't get out. It will not work. So all these rubbish websites where we sometimes end up, if we click wrong in on the internet, then you just go, don't go there and you, you're protected. That's the idea of this little package that we have. All right. I think a lot of has been explained. Don't know what kind of lower this is, but I'm gonna change. And um, what else, Eric? Repositories. So the third party explained more or less everything here. This is just a wallpaper. If you like the wallpapers, you just click and apply and commit. You just check them out. There are a little bit uh, organized with size. So if you check out your own size, in this case, it's gonna be here, it's gonna be there. Where is my display manager? Double click does not seem to work yet. So display, so that's my resolution. So I'll take things that have my resolution and everything is going to be installed. Where is going to be installed? Double click files here. Backgrounds, uplinks, wallpapers, submicron and all the elements are there. So I think I've told everything. I'm really thinking if I missed something, probably, but um, I think I've told already a lot. The question for myself that I had is what if I start with Antegos, can I move to Arch Linux? Yes, you can. It's possible. Is it advisable? No, <laughs> only if you know what you're doing and, it's, and if you're willing to spend the time and at in, in maybe 30 days from now say, hey, why is this not working? Because you have a different kind of setup and all that. But basically it can be done, but um, well, don't get frustrated. If you get frustrated, you say, okay, I've learned enough. I'll do a clean install from for Acre Linux. And that's the point. So don't get fr frustrated, have fun learning and trying out stuff. We still have this light DM GTK greeter ditches not installed. So when we log out, we st see something else. Uh, would be interesting to see what it is actually. So I know as well what it is. Why did I close that? So light DM, do they use light DM? Yes, they use light DM and they use the WebKit 2 greeter. So and the light locker okay fine so a little bit still some differences between us but it's okay doesn't really matter as long as you have the feel that everything is just working that's fine so let's log out and see how this looks born blah 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 yes close and this is how it looks when you are i ah, are yeah, still on antergal so still these images that you have this is already my wallpaper i see purgatory but this is uh, Arch Linux logo here, welcome. So this is not the Arch, uh, the Arch Linux uh, hello or greeting, but it's uh, it's okay, you can keep it. Doesn't really matter. Um, does it? No, doesn't. What's this? That's the battery, we don't use these things. We get rid of those um, look. So where is it? This one, we don't like this one here get rid of that and the rest is still the same we have four of those guys and then rather than two okay close that's it the font is also a little bit small i believe i don't know if it, it has been set somewhere desktop appearance of course fonts cantarel ah that's why 
Cantarell we have installed Noto, so Noto Sans Thin. No. Maybe you guys have heard it or didn't hear it, but I'm using glasses to see. So I really need to have, uh, is it 10, is it 11? I'm not really sure. That's maybe too big. Might still be 11, I don't know. Well, you choose whatever you like, um, 10 or 11. I'm gonna go for 11 since I really need to have a little bit larger fonts. Numix Lite is installed here, but not the circle icon theme. That's why the other one didn't install. We can do that as well. Still having fun. So, yay. Numix circle. And then let's see, Numix circle icon theme. So this guy is from me. That guy is from the project from Numix. And this guy is the same as that guy, you see? So, but first we need to install number two before we can do one. Let's see if it can do it like this. If it will follow it. It won't. So, we've learned something. So, first number two. And then number one. So, Numix Circle Icon Theme has been built. It's actually on our ISO by the way, so you don't need to build it when you do a clean install. Lots of stuff and lots of configurations are just on the ISO. It's present because we don't want to, yes, conflict, okay, get rid of it. Uh, because we don't want to install, after every clean installation, don't want to work anymore. It just needs to be there. The only thing I want to do after clean installation is another icon another theme, another wallpaper, and maybe another cursor. That's it, and all the rest I should just be starting to work. I'm gonna sync my uh, Google Drive, my Dropbox, my Discord, WhatsApp, uh, Telegram, I believe. Um, that's it, basically, and then everything is okay. So, one backup. So there's number one, and number one will install now since new Mix Circle Arc Icons Kit is installed. And we can have a look at that as well. Let's see if we can use icons, new mix circle arc. So this guy, this is how it looks now. We definitely like a well-designed desktop, whatever desktop we're on. We like our icon themes to be good. Well, present, complete. And about taste, we don't discuss. I mean, if you don't like it, don't use it. But um, it needs to be all there. There can't be an icon that's missing. There can't be an application that's missing an icon. That's better. So that's how it would look if it's in a surfer system. And there you go. I really think I have told now more or less everything. And I do hope I can help Antergos people with it. If you don't want to reinstall, this is the video to have a look at. And... Um, I really think I'm gonna pause the video for a while, but I think I'm really out of topics. All right, I just had another what if. <laughs> what if I reboot? Of course, restart. So let's restart the virtual machine. Let's um, this XFC thing kick in. Ah, we have a problem. This Antergos default ASCII FP not found. So we have an um, Antergos grub theme that's embedded somewhere that we need to figure out how what is called upon where is this file how should we get this uh, working okay let's go for full screen first how is our look is my old my super shift return is that working it is Super shift return, that's this. Control T, that's that. Let's kill super Q, super Q. New wallpaper, not pressing this button like this. I have my keyboard shortcuts, Alt N. New keyboard, Alt N, another one. Alt N, another one, Alt N, another one. Gonna keep this one. So my keyboard shortcuts have kicked in. Why? Because we have a, done an ETC scale. And the ETC scale gave us this thing, this guy. And 
that guy. So the keyboard shortcuts are in, are working. Compton Conf, not really necessary, not an XFCE. It's there because of uh, Openbox in the other system, Arch Linux system. Um, for the rest, probably there are leftovers from Antergos for sure. But as long as they don't break things, it's not important. But of course, you should be working that for that to know that um, a bit longer, right? I don't know what this E stands for uh, at all. Maybe something for Antergos. Elementary is also a strange thing I've never seen. So you decide what you delete on your system, your local system. Everything for the rest seems a bit okay. So this uh, grub thing, uh, when we, we launched up, we saw something about an Antergos theme. Now we deleted something, right? We grub, let's have a look. Something grub-like. So that one is installed. So let's try and fix this with the grub customizer. Grub customizer. Let's see what's in here. Theme, Vimix, and list on Tergos Linux. Can we edit this thing on Tergos Linux? So why not Arco Linux? Let's try. It's still a virtual machine. Okay, safe. Still has some names here, but just a trial. If we know this works, the rest will work as well. And then we reboot. Mm -hmm. That's okay. So it's our grub theme. This this icon is bad, but that's because, well, basically, we're still on Antergos and it has lots of uh, elements. It even says Antergos root there. So I'm not gonna go into that much detail. That will probably break the system anyway. So um, you have to start living with some uh, references to Antergos, of course. So, yeah, done. I mean, the boot is fixed as well. Yes, sure, when you boot up, we see some names, some references to Antergos, but basically uh, that's okay. So we see the name here, it says still Antergos Linux. Okay, so if you don't want to see that, it's just text. Don't tell us who there that message. I won't touch that. As long as it works. Oh yeah, sorry. So grub. So that guy. I can't really change it, it seems. Right mouse click. Ah, rename. Uh yes, and now. Okay, now I can rename it. Arco Linux. Enter. This guy. Arco Linux. Okay. And that guy. Oops, escape. Rename like this. That's better. Arc Linux fallback. Okay, save it. And then, all right, we're off. Restart. So, Arc Linux, Arc Linux, Arc Linux, escape, Arc Linux. And we're back where we were. We're still having an Arch Linux distribution with all the spices as we call it. So um, changing spices, maybe I haven't told everything. So what if I haven't told everything? Then you go to Firefox, you go to um, the GitHub. No, you go to Arch Linux. You go to the website. There is the information website with the general information, then is the release, then this, then that. But when you want to learn more about Arch Linux and about Arch Linux, then you have archlinux.com, 
which is basically for the big guys, so XFC or Box i3. But doing something in a thermal, well, that's for any Linux distribution, basically, surely as well for all the desktops and Arco Linux. So some of the things that I make here are for any system, basically, any, any desktop. So you check them out. It's, um, well, start here is obvious. And then you check out what you need to find out, what you want to know, want to learn. And it's in here. All the fixes are interesting. And then we have the Arcus D, and the D stands for all the scripts. Well, this icon needs to be fixed now. Ah, oh, that's better. So Arcus D is um, the small ISO, the base ISO. Then you install or XFC or Openbox or i3. Need not on and sorry, not and but or. So just one is always better, guys. Best advice: don't start mixing unless you know what you're doing. And all these guys can be installed. And the point is that this information, what's on the ISO, what's on your system, is on the GitHub. Just check out GitHub. So if I forgot something, you can learn what we install on Arch Linux. If we're working with desktop PSPWM, just taking the first one. What do we install? We install a display manager, some for something for the sound, for the Bluetooth, the printer, the Samba network. So a lot of things we install, and it's up to you to decide whether you install it as well. So there are lots of scripts. Let's just take one. Uh, this one, for instance. This has a lot of software. Don't want it? Don't install it. So put the hashtag in front of Atom, and it will not be installed. So. A lot of elements will be installed here. Another option to figure out, um, do, am I missing something or do I have something different? Let's say we're still working on XFCE. You go to the build your own ISO, XFCE. Where is the information? It's on this GitHub, right? So we go to the GitHub, not Arch Linux D, but Arclinx B and the B stands for the project where you build your ISO yourself. The idea is not that we build it, that you build it. And the only difference is that that's, that's one, actually there's only one major difference between all these uh, GitHubs here and that's this file. That's it. Every of these guys has a file like that. And what it says is, what are we going to put on the ISO? That's this. This thing is what's going to be put on the ISO. So I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm, I'm already thinking about things that we have left out, that we have forgotten. Just giving an example. There are aliases in here, like the YouTube downloader. Of course, the alias will not work if you don't install the application Pacman minus S YouTube downloader. And that's how it works. It still needs some common sense if you want to switch from A to B. And probably all else here this Trizen. So if you don't have Trizen, it won't work. If you don't have XPAC, it won't work. So things like that, you still need to install it, which actually is an interesting one and gives us rip. So what did I install last? I installed last XPAC, then I installed X YouTube, then I installed Numix, and then it's going back from one to the, the most early application till all the way back in the past. So these are the things we've been installing all the time. So rip, rest in peace, or all the packages we make. It's not rest in peace, of course, but that's the, the joke, of course, rip alias. Here, x -Pack. So the last uh, package, the most recent packages. Recent, most recent installed packages, I think it was that, something like that, x -Pack. So there will be more, I'm not going over them, there will be more, check out these aliases. All right, I am gonna call it uh, a day. This is a long video, I hope it's an interesting one. Anyway, um, it's not for the, the faint of heart, uh, I'm sure of that, <laughs> but um, it's okay if you wanna learn more, one hour and 30 minutes, it's a bit long. But anyway, I think it's, um, an interesting project. I had fun with it. So what if, what if we move from Antergos to Arch Linux? Then these would be the things that I would think of. But I'll probably forgot some. All right, have fun.